Our next section here is arc length in chapter two. Before we consider two dimensional surfaces, we're gonna look at one dimensional case where you have a curve. And here, the little length, arc length along this curve can be obtained by the Pythagorean theorem. A delta x squared plus delta y squared will give you delta s squared. And here, if we divide out and multiply, basically, we're going to have the same thing, but we're going to divide and multiply by delta x squared. So you have then 1 plus delta y squared over delta x squared, that quantity times delta x squared, which you can readily see reproduces our original result. So what we want to do is get ready to take the limit as delta x goes to 0. And if we look at this, when we take the limit, the deltas become differentials. So this delta y over delta x is a derivative, dy dx. And then you have a differential at the end here, dx squared. So in the limit as delta x goes to 0 of the arc length squared is equal to 1 plus the derivative of y with respect to x, that quantity squared there. And then you're going to slap on that 1 by addition. And then the whole thing multiplies dx squared. Using the shorthand notation for the derivative, y prime is dy dx, and you have this neat form that ds squared is 1 plus y prime squared, that quantity times dx squared. And taking the square root, ds, the arc length, would be the square root of 1 plus y prime squared, and then all that under this square root sign basically is going to hit the dx, which is done on the outside. So the arc length of the function yx as you go from point 1 to point 2 is obtained by a simple integration from x1 to x2 of this integral. Now here's a nice homework problem. We know that the arc length along a circle, if you go all the way around, is 2 pi. So if you go around 1 fourth of the way, saying the first quadrant, you would get 2 pi over 4, which would be pi over 2 times r. So 2 pi r would be your circumference, and then 1 fourth of that is pi over 2 times r. So set up the uh, integral here uh, using the equation of the circle and see by doing the integral that you indeed, for the first quadrant, obtain pi over 2 times r, the radius.